If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. I'm Ricky Behrens, Olympic gold medalist out here at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. We're out here at USA Swimming Fantasy Camp. We're having a great time. BMW has brought me out here to you know, help promote swimming, help promote their, their new technology that they're getting involved with swimming. And uh, it, it's a special time out here. We're, we're learning a lot. We're out here with about 20 people and uh, really enjoying ourselves. We're, we're teaching some new things, uh, a lot of master swimmers, and uh, it's special. It is always an honor to be back on the Olympic campus, back at the Aquatic Center. Thanks to USA Swimming Foundation's Fantasy Camp, several Olympians work closely with 22 master swimmers using state-of-the-art technology. Olympic freestyler Ricky Behrens, Olympic coach and swim max CEO David Marsh, NBC Olympic analyst and Olympic icon Rowdy Gaines, and the greatest swimmer of all time, Janet Evans. The exclusive event was for charity, an opportunity to raise money for the USA Swimming Foundation's mission to save lives and build champions. For the Olympic hosts, it was a great time to hang out with old friends and catch up. Imagine our surprise when we learned that Ricky Behrens had officially retired from swimming. Here are Ricky's biggest memories from the sport. 14 years old, uh, 100 butterfly, I broke a national record in uh, 49-41 and then after that I broke Michael Phelps' national record in the 200 butterfly and that was a 148-2 and I just remember that race, it was probably the best feeling race I've ever had in my life, which I wish it, they all felt like that, but uh, that was the moment where I was like, you know, swimming, you know, I can, I can take it to college, I can, I can do more than just high school swimming and that moment was pretty incredible. College, you know, when you go to college, it's all about NCAAs and, and winning an NCAA championship, going to University of Texas. Uh, Eddie Reese, I don't know the last time, he's gone four years without winning a national championship. And, you know, you usually come in there expecting to win one at least once in your four years. And freshman year, we were fifth. Sophomore year, we were second. Junior year, we were second. And uh, finally, our senior year, after we'd all gotten sick, they delayed the meet for a whole day. Uh, senior year, team captain, uh, we came out on top. We won national championship, uh, beating Cal in the last day. Post college, well, I guess uh, making the Olympic team after my sophomore year, that was one of the big deals. You know, swimming, making it to the final stage, the ultimate stage is that Olympics, and to be able to accomplish that goal is just incredible. That feelings, I, I know, pushing off that last wall, 200 freestyle. And, the one thing Chris Kubik told me before that race, my, my assistant coach, was um, just beat the guy in lane seven and eight. I was in lane six, he's like, just beat the guys in lane seven and eight. And I remember pushing off the wall on the last turn and looking back and pulling away from lane seven and eight, and it hit me with about 30 meters left. I got chills in my body, started sprinting, and it hit me about 30 meters left. I was like, I'm about to make the Olympic team. Everyone has embarrassing moments. Some are worse than others, and some, on extremely rare occasions, are captured on photos and video, and they go viral. Most embarrassing moment, everybody remembers the bodysuits. Everybody remembers, we were putting those things, they are on so tight that it took us 30 minutes to put those things on in uh, 2009 World Championships Rome, swimming on prelims of the 4x100 freestyle relay. I always have the same routine. Walk over to the side of the pool, splash some water on myself, do a couple stretches, go and do my race. I start the race, I'm going third. Gary Weber Gale dives in, walk over to the side of the pool, bend over to splash some water on myself, and suit splits. Middle of the back, all the way into the front. And it's wide open. And uh, turn around and walk back to Colin Jones, get in the zone, hit him a little bit. He, he convinces me to get on the block. I mean, come on, I mean, standing on the block in the, in the relay start position isn't, isn't the best position to be in when, you're, when your suit's split open. And uh, I had to swim the entire race, a uh, giant hole in my suit, and everybody saw it. Pictures, giant TV camera right behind me, and uh, showed the whole world my butt. <laughs> what was your split? 48-1. 48-1. I, I think so. I need to double check, but I think it was 48-1, which I think was pretty good with two parachutes on. Take us back to the swimmer you were 10 years ago. Did you know you'd be an Olympian? An Olympic champion? with three medals? If you were to tell me 10 years ago that I was ever gonna make one Olympics, um, let alone two Olympics and, and walk away with three Olympic medals, I'd tell you you're crazy. After 2012, I, uh, I was ready to be done. I, I stuck it out for another year. Uh, and Literally in the last year, I've had more fun swimming than I've ever had before. You know, the pressure was off. I was enjoying it. I, I swam faster than I ever had before. And 
you know, now, now I think it's uh, about time for the next adventure in my life. And like I said, it, if you were to tell me I was ever going to walk away uh, with three, three Olympic medals, I'd tell you you're crazy. And to accomplish that, to uh, you know, finish on a high note, I had an incredible summer. Um, and really, to walk away with all that, I've accomplished dreams. People, people dream of what we accomplish. I'm extremely blessed to to be able to accomplish that. And now it's, there's more to life than swimming, and I've done that. And now it's time to move on. Ah!